And then the next step would be if you want to, um, yeah. these arrows here are forward and back uh, with your editing, that you can come over here on the menu on the right hand side and click the text. So you can bring in some text onto your uh, wrench, and obviously it's coming in quite big. There are the uh, dimensions here. Uh, you can change the height. Uh, Multi-language is nice. I believe you could paste in different types of languages and fonts right there. I'm just going to work with uh, sans, and I'll put in my text of Actually, I think I need to delete it first so I can put in AIC 3D OT. And now uh, I once again can click on the box here to make it smaller. I'm holding the shift key to keep the proper dimensions. And I'm just going to click the. Uh, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. And we can see that just the the uh, type has come in. I'm gonna I'm gonna once again with my menu up here. There's top, and then I can look from the side. So when I want to move something up and down, it's this black arrow here. So I can move my text up, and I can click on it and move it over the wrench. Now just right now. It's a little bit of an angle, so there's at the end here, I can click on this little icon here, the rotate icon, and move it over. Uh, it needs to be rotated. It's too big, so I can once again pull a corner and scale it down a little bit. And then move it. So it's it's kind of a little bit of a back and forth, adjusting things. Just like anything else when if you're learning how to use Word or any other, say, word processing software. It just takes a little while to figure it out. Okay. And so now I just want to see what this looks like from the side. So I want to make sure, let me see if we can zoom in. I'm going to bring this down so the type goes down into my wrench. Because if it's up in the air like this, obviously, whoops, and there's that gap right there, uh, it won't print properly. So when I'm looking right from the side, I have this black arrow, bring it down. And we can see from this line that it's inset into the wrench itself. Um, and you can adjust with the size and the font or uh, whatever you choose. And so then I've got my wrench. I, whoops, whoa, doggy. I've got my text in there. And so then what I want to do is um, um, as you did when you made the wrench, I need to group these items. So I'll click on the wrench, and then I'm holding the shift key, and I click on my type as well, and then I click here to group them. So then it's all one piece. And then Then I come over here to my menu in the upper right corner and click on uh, Export. And what I'm looking for would be a STL file. Now it, it always for some reason comes in with some random strange term, so you would want to say um, OT wrench with type and then put your name on it. 
and then just uh, save that file wherever you um, uh, want to save it and so you know where it is and then uh, once you get however we work it out when you get the files to me or whoever then we can uh, print the wrench for you all right happy creating <laughs>